Hello ladies and gentlemen, cats and dogs, boys and girls. Today I'm going to teach you how to play Forza Horizon 5 in VR. This trick is really easy and simple. It should only take like 3 minutes if you know what you're doing. And yeah, I've only got it to work, I've only tested it on Oculus. Uh, but as far as I know it works on any other VR system. So let's get straight into it. So first, you're going to want to go to this link. And once you do that, it'll take you here. Do not click on any of these ads. They are not legit. You want to scroll down and find this. Open it in another tab. And then click download. Now it's going to take a few seconds or minutes. You're going to need to wait a while. But for this tutorial, I already have it installed. So what you want to do now is you want to go to downloads. And you want to open this. This is what you just downloaded. Let it change your hard drive. And it'll open up this. Say next, I agree, and let it install. It's not a virus. I've done this multiple times and I've used it. Next, what you want to do is go to this PC, go to your main hard drive, find program files 86, go inside and find depth VR. And you want to click this VR companion app. When it does that, it should open this, and it's going to load a little bit. It's going to give you a disclaimer in VR. You could read that if you want. And when that all goes away, then I'll show you what to do. If this does not appear, and you're using Oculus, what you might want to do is go to your General and Settings, and click Allow Unknown Sources. It's not going to hurt you in any way. It's just going to make it so certain applications can can work. Next, which this is the simplest part, is run Forza. That's going to take a little bit, and I'll show you what to do once it loads up. Okay, I'm back. So the next thing you want to do, before you start it up, you can do this in VR, if you'd like. And I, VR, you just want to have your headset on, you can use your keyboard or mouse. So what you want to do here is, no matter how great your PC is, you want to go to settings and turn your graphics qualities like all the way down, like much farther down. And it really helps because if not, you will get two frames per second, and it gets pretty bad. So it's taking a little while to load, but you'd want to do that once that happens. And while you're in here. I can show you what to do with the VR Companion app. So we had this open, and what you want to do is. Okay, now it's going to be a bit weird like that. So on your keyboard, click the backslash button, it's right above your enter. Sometimes it doesn't work, it takes way too long to get it to work. Uh, there you go. You have to click out of the application to do it. So then once you do that, you want to use your arrow keys to zoom the whole thing closer to you or farther. What you want to do most is curve it around you. That's going to help a ton. And now if, say, you have to look to the side because you messed up, you can click shift to recenter. Okay, so I'll tell you what to do next once you get in the game, which will be the final step. So the final step you would like to do once you get into the game is if you're on PC, you can press tab to change your view. Now, if you are playing with the steering wheel, I recommend this. But if you are not and you're using keyboard, I recommend this view. I get really nauseous if not. And it's pretty hard to work and look around, but yeah. So that's the tutorial. I hope it helps. Please leave a like and comment down below. And please consider subscribing. See you next time.